If you're like me, you might be tired of the rat race. You might be tired of looking at everything seems so perfect on Instagram. And it feels like, you know, you got to run to keep up with everything that's happening in life. And you got to keep hustling and doing all this, that and the third. But after a while, like, I mean, hustling gets real tiresome. And I've been hustling so much recently that I haven't had time for me. So this is about self-care. This is about stripping it all down and really getting back to the basics of who I am underneath the veil of perfection that we oftentimes put out there on Instagram and TikTok and social media. Like the work ain't always pretty, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes the work can take us to a space where we feel like we're having a meltdown. And I was definitely on the verge of a meltdown, y'all. I had been studying for my midterms for real estate school. I had been making videos. I had been doing this, that, and the third behind the scenes. And I didn't have any time to like really recharge my battery. And so this is about self-care. This is about taking some time to work out, to recharge my battery and to make sure that I am living and being the best possible me that I can be. And that means taking time out for myself for at least 30 minutes of working out and then 30 minutes of cardio and then going about my day. Because quite honestly, if I'm not taking care of me, then I'm pouring from an empty cup. All right, so what I'm doing these days is I use a meal prep service called Meal Dealers. And this is not a sponsored video of any sort, but I'm just sharing something with you that's been helping me maximize my time just a bit better. And I can also find some very healthy options like this chicken, this broccoli, and these sweet potatoes. And what I do right after that is I've been honestly just taking some time to eat in silence or to listen to some music and just kind of let my thoughts wander. One of the things that I really want to focus on in 2022 is doing one thing at a time and not trying to fit so many activities into my day, even though my days are jam packed. You know, for a lot of people, they may assume that, oh, well, you're just making videos, you're just making content, but this is a lot of work and it is a constant work. And because I work for myself, the work really doesn't have a start time or an end time. It's when I want it to be. And because I am so heavily focused on achievement, you know, I work quite a bit. And even editing this video, it's work because I wanted to edit it myself, okay? Um, so once I finish that, it's time for me to really get into the self-care routine of it all. And a part of that is taking care of my skin. You know, I've had a lot of people ask me, well, what do you do for your skincare routine? And here's a little bit of what I do. You know, I will tell you guys that I get facials once a month from a friend of mine. She goes by Faces by Melody on Instagram. She's been very helpful with helping me keep my skin at least somewhat nice. You know what I'm saying? I'm the type of person that sometimes forgets to wear sunscreen. So I definitely have to take extra measures to take care of my face. And these peel off masks are something that I find to be very convenient because when it's time to peel it off, you can actually just peel it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do too much scraping and scrubbing. I mean, there may be little, you know, spaces where you forget some areas, but I really like this in terms of, you know, helping me keep my skin relatively clear and free of toxins, especially after I've been to the gym and wiping my face with the towels from the gym. You know, this is just a nice way to help rejuvenate my skin. And I really feel like it offers me some time to just, you know, again, decompress and really think about what's important to me. And that's taking care of myself. What's up guys, it's your boy, Richie Sky, back with another video. And listen, I know I'm in the mask, okay? And by the mask, I mean this 
M Skincare Purified Charcoal Peel Mask that draws out impurities from congested skin, okay? Here it is. I think I got this from like CVS or something like that. I need to come up with my own, right? So anyway, I got my headphones in because I was listening to the new Earn Your Leisure podcast with Steve Harvey. It is amazing. And as you guys can see, I missed a space on my nose right here because of my nose ring. But you know, that's neither here nor there. So today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about self-care. I don't know if I told you guys this, but last week I was so stressed that I literally had a meltdown on the phone with my assistant. And yes, I do have an assistant. I mean, it's not that I'm like, you know, rich and famous and you know, all of that, but I did hire someone who is my cousin to help me navigate some of the things that I have going on right now. And it's really just helping make my life easier. Also, some of you guys may know that I'm in real estate school, so it's a lot happening right now outside of my news channel, doing things for various shows and other business enterprises that I'm working on all at once, right? And so I literally had a mental meltdown last week because I had so much going on and we were also traveling home for the weekend to visit my parents for my dad's birthday. And I had a midterm yesterday for my real estate course that I'm taking right now. Yes, we'll talk about that in a whole nother video about why I'm getting into real estate. But needless to say, it was just a lot that's been going on. So I felt like today was necessary for some self care, for some, you know, let's get back in the routine of doing things that help me feel my best. So, you know, I've gone to the gym, I've done my cardio, I've done my weightlifting, my weight training, I have eaten a good meal. I use a meal prep service called Meal Dealers here in the DMV area. They do pretty good because they give me my healthy meals. It's chicken, sweet potatoes, and broccoli. And then, now I'm in my facial mask waiting for it to dry so I can peel it off so I can actually go sit in the bathtub for about 30 minutes. I can sit in the bathtub for an hour, hour and a half if it's really, really hot and if I have a lot going on in my mind. And I feel like today is a day where I need a little bit of a treat for myself because y'all, your boy has been stressed. I don't even know how I did on that real estate exam because it's not that I didn't care. I was just kind of like at the end of my rope with having so much to do. So anyway, I'm going to sit in the bathtub. I told you guys before that I deal with anxiety. And so today is really the first day that I've been able to get back into the routine of things that actually help me with my anxiety. No, I am not a counselor, a therapist, or a psychiatrist, or any of that. Although I do plan on talking to a counselor sometime soon, I just need to find one that I feel like works, okay? But for right now, I'm doing the things that make me feel like me and make me feel my best. And they also allow me time to be creative because as a creative person, I work in content creation, I need to feel like my optimum creative self and I cannot do that when I'm pouring from an empty cup. Now, also too, the other thing that I learned recently is like, because I've had so much going on, I was not able to respond to a lot of emails, a lot of my DMs, if you've been sending me DMs, I only see the ones at the very top, to be quite honest with you. I don't even scroll down right now because it's just so overwhelming to me. And I hate not being able to respond to stuff in a timely fashion. And it's tax season too, so there's a lot going on with like business-wise. We've converted my LLC to an S-Corp, which has totally changed my tax structure. And so it's just a lot of stress that's happening all at one time. But today is the self-care day, y'all, and we about to get into this bathtub and we gonna relax. The water is nice and hot and juicy. You know what I'm saying? It's about to be lit. And let me tell you something. Self-care days are not just for women. Fellas, if you don't take some days to yourself to get yourself together, to really get your mind right, to really take care of your mind and your body and your spirit, you are missing out. Let me tell you that. You are missing all the way out. Ladies, y'all better tell them. Y'all better tell them. 
Because I, what I notice is a lot of times we see, you know, the ladies, you know, really enjoying their self care. And I think that it's time that we get rid of this stigma that guys can't, you know, take care of themselves and take hot baths and, you know, uh, do facial peels and whatnot to make yourself look and feel your best. Why not? Why are you not doing that? You know, it's unhealthy to go through life not giving yourself the best of care that you can possibly give yourself. So today is my day for that. And I just felt like, you know what? Let me take y'all people with me on this journey of self-care for today. And let's get this channel really popping. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we're here right now. And if you are not taking some self-care for yourself this week, let this be your reminder. Let this be your motivation that you need to get it popping, okay? This spring, we are getting back to ourselves. We are getting back to us. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna do that by any means necessary. For me, it means I'm gonna beat this anxiety thing. I'm gonna beat it with a stick, okay? One hot bath at a time. So, you know, let's go ahead and, you know, let's dive into this thing right now. Let's get into it, okay? Now it's time to peel this mask off. And let me tell y'all, this is so satisfying. Y'all know how y'all see those videos on YouTube where the people be like doing stuff that, and, and it says satisfying. Well, this just feels like that. Let me tell you something. When you're pulling this off your skin and then when you see how fresh and you see how like just amazingly clear your skin looks, baby, let me tell you something. You will be wanting to do this once per week, okay? And so now it's time for me to run my bath water, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. I love a hot bath. And I don't mean just lukewarm. The bath has to be steaming hot, almost to the point where I can barely put my feet or my uh, body into it. And I like to use bubble bath. Now this is by Baby Bum. Again, this is not a sponsored video in any way, shape or form. I'm literally just showing you some of the products that I use for my everyday life simply because I wanted to share with you guys, you know, some of the things that I'm doing to stay sane and to continue my self care routine. And in 2022, I got to be honest with y'all, I am really determined to live a life of leisure. So I'm setting up things now. I'm doing the hard work now so that I can enjoy the fruits of my labor later, okay? So I also like to use some Dr. Teal's um, uh, bath salt because the salt to me just helps relax the muscles. And I find this to be especially helpful after you have had a very hard workout, okay? It's not necessarily just for when you've had a hard workout, but it's also for maybe when you wanna just relax your muscles in general, because maybe you've been sitting up at the computer all day, or maybe you've been standing all day on your feet at work. This is just a nice way to relax and ease the stress from the day. And it's honestly one of my favorite pastimes. For me to feel my optimal self, I usually will take about three to four baths per week. And one of the things that I do is I will take a bath and then I will get out and then I will take a shower to kind of just wash any of the excess um, uh, bubble bath off or any of the bath salt off just to make sure that my skin is extra clean and extra smooth when I get out of the bathtub. And while I'm in the bathtub, one of my favorite things to do is to either listen to music, I will watch YouTube videos, or I will watch, and well, when I watch YouTube videos, I'm typically watching Marvel movie related content, movie news and things like that. I really got into the Earn Your Leisure podcast recently and I am loving, loving their interview that they did with Steve Harvey. I listened to that entire two hour interview yesterday while I was working out and while I was in the bathtub. This is my time of peace. This is my time of rest and relaxation. You know, when we talked about earlier, the thumbnail that I use for this video, there's the one side of us that, you know, is, you know, taking care of ourselves. And then there's a side that we present for social media. But I got to tell you guys, it is the part where we are taking care of ourselves that is the absolute 
most important part. And it may not be the part that we always share with everyone on social media, but I guarantee you it is the part that will refill our cup so that when we do get back to social media, we can be our best version of ourselves. But it, it doesn't always have to be a pretty picture. It doesn't always have to be something that shows us in our best light. Sometimes the best version of ourselves that we can show people is the transparent part of what it looks like behind the scenes of creating the things that we're creating. And so honestly, that is why I wanted to do this video because I wanted to be transparent about my self-care in the hopes that maybe it will inspire your self-care journey.